Hello guys, just a uh, quick video on how to install a Radeon R9295X2. This video should have been done a rather long time ago, um, since it's been out nearly a year, but surprisingly. Um, no one has actually done a video of actually installing it. But there you go, um, I decided I should do one. So it's going to be quick, very simple. So I'll run through all the tools you will need, well I say the tools, the things you will need. So here we go. You will need a computer with um, a free x16 slot, screwdriver, and some screws. These ones, these are ones for fans. You can't see it because my fan camera's focus has broken. So I do apologise. That's just one that came with my motherboard, uh, well, my computer case actually. Um, and that's to install, um, it's just a bolt stuff in, like peripherals and all that kind of malarkey. So we'll get down to it. Ah. Also, you will need a quite a hefty power supply, preferably one that's modular. Um, they're best, but uh, yes, anything over uh, uh, 750 watts um, that can push over 28 amps of power or current. So, to install this thing, you will need your hand. So, we are going to grab this here. Hold on a second, because I don't have a camera mount. Just going to slot this straight into. Um, hold on a second, let me just. There we go. I'm going to put this into the top X16 slot, which is here. It's this one here. Okay, so here we go. Slot that in. Right in there, so you can see it. Just gonna clip it in. Hold on a second. There we go. It's in. Right. Just uh, I had to uh, do a manual clipping because the clip's too hard uh, for me to do it one-handed, and the computer is about to fall over. So there you go. And we're just going to screw that in there. We're going to put these, these two black screws in there. One in here. So usually what I do is I just give that a, a push up, so like this, and then it sits flat in the pe in the motherboard, sits properly. So now I'm just going to screw that in. If you bear me one second, I'll screw that in. Okay, so they're in now. You can see that the graphics card is flat with the motherboard. Uh, it's sturdy. Um, all we're left with is this a uh, radiator yes it has two different fans on but uh, they're really powerful so it doesn't really matter um, and we're going to put this radiator just there um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wire these fans into the uh, computer first because it's a little bit awkward so I have this one down here down there um, and this other one the other one goes where does it go there there's that slot there just there look I put it there but I'm not going to wire that one in first yet I'm just going to Sit that over the holes here. You can uh, there we go. There's there's the holes lined up. I'm going to screw this in. So bear me one second. I'm just about to screw it in now. You, usually you will find that um, when installing a new radiator, oh, for goodness sake, uh, fan or 
any kind of fan really on a computer you will find that it is quite difficult to uh, put the screws in it's because they're not threaded yet but that's normal so don't worry uh, just screw those in there we go opposite sides should always do opposite sides I was taught that as a mechanic tighten up opposite sides so now we have those uh, screwed in, the radiators in so now all we need to do is connect some power so we'll be getting our two 8 pin PCIe 12 volt graphics card pins but we need two separate cables, no daisy chain business want two separate cables um, from the power supply one goes in there and get another one any other one will do this one there we go um, what's going off here right in there Now we've done that, what we need to do is just connect up these fans. So we've got one here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When you're ready, Doc. Here we go. And this one goes back on here. Because I've pre programmed them to run how I want them. There we go, that's plugged in, so now, there we go, all working. So there you have it, that's how you install the R9 295X2 graphics card. That's the hardware side of things, now it's down to you guys to download the uh, required drivers and uh, install those there we go alright and that's it so I hope that was uh, formal enough for you guys uh, sorry I had to do it one handedly um, I could have taken this downstairs and showed you guys with a tripod but there you go I decided not to. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, sort of. It was a bit informal. Um, and get installing this graphics card. 